as a young journalist starting out on your career, what do you recall as the best advice you were given as a young man? If you hear a shot being fired, don't look up to see who fired it. There is no one piece of advice that you can uh, give any young journalist who aspires to the job. But what I would say to any, any journalist, to any young man who, or woman who want to be journalists, I say that it won't work for you unless you have a deep belief in that the, and, and belief in journalists, journalism's role in our democracy. And whether your democracy is in the United States, New Zealand, Britain, or the Western world, if you don't have that belief that what your work is, is so important that you'll risk, risk it all to get the story, and I if it's in Vietnam or Afghanistan or in Washington, D.C., you have to be, and if anything less than that, you'll be a routine reporter. But you have to, if you want to be the best, it's easy to be a routine reporter. You can do the job. You could train anyone with a university or with a high school education to be a reporter, like a stenographer. To be a good reporter and a successful reporter, your heart has to be in it, and it's not easy to determine if you have those qualities. My own career testifies to the importance of those qualities. I come from a little town in New Zealand and have attained you know, recognition in the most competitive journalism in the world. How? Because my, those who were hiring me and sort of recognized in me, thank goodness, qualities that they felt were important to the survival of the traditions that were established by the Magna Carta in Britain, you know, several centuries ago, and by America's uh, constitution and traditions in, in, in this country. Well, how does that message of recording the truth uh, resonate to, for example, students you taught in China? You had a, uh, a, a number of years where you were teaching journalism students in China where there is not a free press. How do they understand that message? That wasn't difficult at all because I would preface my remarks by saying, and I made many, many lectures over those seven years, I'd say, in China, you do not have traditions existing that existed in my world and my country. However, successive Chinese leaders have promised that in the future, there will be greater democracy, because at that point in time, Xi Jinping, the, no, no, the, 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 President of China at that point, I'm thinking of his name, was promising that along in the distant future there'd be democracy. I would say, you don't have it yet, but when you get it, this is how you're going to handle it. And then I'd talk about my own struggle with the government and so forth. But I'd say, this is in the future for you. Now, while at this point, Use journalism to your advantage because it's a great profession to get to know people. You're res even in China, you're highly respected. You get to interview important folks. Now, you don't get to break huge investigative stories, but you're going to meet the kind of people and you're going to expand your horizons that you can make a career out of this. Because I knew that in China to, at that point, at age 30, Unless you're a party member, you would not be promoted in any media organization. But at age 30 in modern China, if you have language proficiency, if you have writing proficiency, and if you've got technical proficiency, you can go to the moon. Because all these organizations, businesses there need young people.